Hello everyone, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I'm the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Diola.com. Today we have a very special reason to film this video. I would like to introduce you to a new member of Diola.com family. We have a new Cupid in our team. This is Irina. Irina Novikova, blogger and Cupid, English interpreter at Diola.com since 2017. Education, Master in Tourism Management and Hospitality. Working experience, four years experience of working in hospitality. Language skills, Irina speaks Russian, English, Ukrainian and some Dutch. Motto, so I love you because the entire universe conspired to help me find you. Paola Coelho, the alchemist. Fun fact, Irina is a master of sport in archery and a professional yoga instructor. So, hi Irina. Hello Svetlana, thank you for introducing me. Uh, my first question to you would be, why have you decided to choose such a very unusual profession? I even call, can't call it profession. Why have you decided to be a part of something as special as spreading love and creating couples? <laughs> uh, I can say, Svetlana, that uh, it was really unexpected for me as well. So. Um, I think that uh, it is a uh, universe and uh, of course you Svetlana offered me this opportunity that I took and I can say I can say that uh, I'm really happy to be where I am now. What do you like most of all about being part of matchmaking team? Uh, I really admire what we do. We help uh, people to find their love, uh, their life partner and I believe uh, that uh, if more people uh, uh, carry love in their hearts, uh, there will be uh, less violence in the world. Yes, and the world would be so much more beautiful. Uh, can you tell a little bit about your background? I know that you have worked in Holland for a while and you have studied in UK. Uh, what did this experience taught you and uh, how does it help you at Deal.com? Uh, yes, uh, I was uh, really lucky to spend uh, some part of my life abroad. It's uh, a really great experience. Uh, uh, it's an unforgettable experience for me that uh, uh, taught me uh, to be more open-minded. Uh, um, it made me stronger and smarter, I can say. And um, yes, uh, and this uh, travel experience uh, helped me in my job now. Irina, you have lived in Ukraine, you have lived abroad. From your experience, the dating scene in Ukraine and abroad, what are the main differences? And uh, you have shared a very funny story with us about your friend and her experience on Tinder. Uh, yes, uh, for example, uh, um, yeah, people in uh, in the Netherlands or UK, whatever, and they uh, uh, as well uh, uh, use uh, this dating site uh, as uh, Badu, Tinder, or or any different websites. Uh, and for example, one of the story was that uh, um, my uh, Dutch friend uh, she met uh, um, a really cute guy on the Tinder, and um, she invited uh, him over, and. After, after he pleased her, <laughs> I don't know how to, how to say it. Uh, um, so he uh, offered her <laughs> to do it again, but with a present that uh, he brought to her, and it was a uh, big cucumber. <laughs> oh my God! From your experience, do you think that this story can apply to Ukraine? Would it ever happen that a Ukrainian girl meets a guy on Tinder, invites him over to her place and he brings a big cucumber? I think it doesn't depend uh, on uh, um, we are abroad or we are in Ukraine. Crazy people, crazy guys and girls are everywhere. So it's international? It's international, yes. And what is the attitude of people, for example, when you tell to your Dutch friends that you work at a matchmaking company or when you tell to your Ukrainian friends? Is there any differences? Yes, How do they yes, react? there is. Uh, for example, uh, uh, when, I, uh, um, when I told uh, to my friend uh, from New York uh, that uh, I work uh, in a matchmaking agency as a cupid, uh, he was really uh, surprised and happy for me because uh, I, uh, I shouldn't uh, 
uh, explain to him what is it and what I really do and he, he's just wow this is a really great job especially nowadays it's a uh, it's getting very popular in New York and uh, in Europe but uh, unfortunately in Ukraine it's um, um, I guess w we are the first right uh, who provide uh, this kind of um, um, services and this level yes and uh, how do your ukrainian friends react when you tell them that you work at matchmaking agency um they don't really understand uh, uh, what i do what i do work and um, they 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 think that uh, i'm uh, in some kind of uh, this uh, not really uh, noble profession or so there is for justice yes yes are uh, you have been with us for several weeks already uh, what have you learned in these weeks if to be honest uh, I've learned so many things uh, for example uh, uh, some of tasks I uh, I have done first time so I have never done it before for example it's it's like every day I have new challenges here and uh, um, I have the, the opportunity to develop myself and to grow together with the agency. Can you share a little bit more specifics about your tasks? Because otherwise people, especially Ukrainians who speak English, they will assume that you did some pole dancing. <laughs> um, yeah, my tasks are what I do. This, uh, I write uh, articles in uh, Russian and English. And uh, sometimes uh, the themes of uh, my articles are uh, um, re really different and sometimes I, I don't really know, uh, uh, so I, have, I, I don't really know uh, this uh, subject, so I had to, uh, do, to, research. to do research, yes, and uh, go deep in information and uh, after that uh, so I can uh, bring something interesting and new to our clients. There is an article, uh, I know that you have interviewed your married friends, you have, you have written an article about sex after marriage. Yes. Uh, can you tell how your married friends reacted when you were asking them questions, when you were interviewing them to create an article? Um, yeah, some of them uh, was uh, really happy to help me, but uh, 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 as well, I had trouble with uh, my other friends who didn't want to, to tell me anything about it. Mm -hmm. and they felt shy about to talk about it, right? Yes. With my foreign friends, uh, I can uh, talk almost, yeah, about everything. They are really open, and uh, but in Ukraine, people a bit closed about their private lives. Mm -hmm. What has surprised you most of all while you have been part of the Oled Com family? Guys, really, there is an extremely positive atmosphere in the office. And our clients, ladies and gentlemen with whom we work, can you tell about them? What are they like? They are totally different, but uh, all of them uh, have uh, the same goal. Uh, each of them wanted to find their love. Okay, Irina, I'm not going to tease you with any more questions. I know that uh, it is your first interview. Yes, I'm uh, really nervous. Great, <laughs> by the way, guys, doesn't Irina do great in this interview? Will you wish something to our su subscribers before we finish? Yes, of course. Uh, dear clients, uh, uh, don't be afraid uh, to do a step forward uh, to meet your life. Don't sit and wait that uh, just someday uh, your second half will knock your door, your creator of your life. And uh, if you need help, uh, we will uh, do our best, you can be sure about it. And no cucumbers on Tinder dates. I love this story. Uh, thank you, Irina, so much for the interview. Thank you, Svetlana. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, we wish you only great, strong, mutual love without cucumber there. From the other that's come, it is love.